Korea and Germany are always compared because of the division, which is a similarity between those countries. Naturally, there are a number of things which are quite different, and in particular the geopolitical context. Germany was divided as a result of the Second World War, and East Germany could only survive as a vassal state of the Soviet Union. And as soon as the Soviet Union put its protective security umbrella away, and as soon as Gorbachev deviated from the former Brezhnev doctrine to say that the socialist system has to be uh, protected in all socialist countries, if necessary by force, then the East Germans were able to overthrow the East German unpopular regime. In North Korea the situation is a little bit different. North Korea also had powerful allies in the former Soviet Union and in China, but always it tried to disengage from both. First of all, North Korea is uh, one of the few states and now the only remaining state in the world who never underwent de-Stalinization. That doesn't mean that it is still the Stalinist state of the 1950s. It's far from that. But it never underwent de-Stalinization and the godlike like image of its dictator, of its ruling dynasty, uh, is system imminent until today. Second of all, North Korea then could survive under great difficulties the downfall of the Soviet Empire and of the Soviet Socialist Bloc. That brought a uh, mass famine to North Korea. We don't know exactly how many people died, but we think that uh, at least several hundred thousand people died a death of hunger. But at the same time, the political system of North Korea uh, could prevail, could survive. Nevertheless, if you think in the, into the future, we see there are again some similarities. Once North Korea will open, the attraction of South Korea with a um, uh, social product maybe a hundred times higher per capita than that of North Korea will be so powerful that we will see a mass exodus from North Korea. And that is actually what the North Koreans fear. Now that means that also uh, the reaction to such a potential exodus might be very similar, namely a fast unification and an attempt to try to let the people stay where they are by giving generous social benefits, by providing investment, probably first of all by the state, to the um, North Korean territories. Now we are not yet in such a situation and we don't know when North Korea will change. But one thing is uh, for sure and that's interesting, North Koreans did very closely follow the events of Germany and the events of the end of the socialist regimes in Cold War Europe. And for several times the North Koreans brought together all the functionaries of the system in great places like the culture palace in Pyongyang and showed them, for example, the video uh, um, footage of the uh, execution of Ceausescu in Romania and showed what happened to Erich Honecker who had to go to exile in Chile. So the North Koreans are aware of the potential similarities between both Germany and uh, Korea and they are fearing this and that's why they are for example very very cautious on the problem of defectors on the people who try to flee to the south and they harshly try to um, pr prevent them from fleeing and that's also why the North Koreans are very careful in any attempt of opening up which makes it so difficult because there are no ideological reasons per se which would prevent them from sw changing switching to a market economy like China did like Vietnam did in many uh, ways but it's not the ideological problem that they say we think the central plant economy works better it's rather the fear that such a switch of system would also lead to a path which in the end leads to unification under South Korean, not anymore North Korean rule.